Uh, let's see, you'll find you know, a lot of the same problems. Uh, Mickey's still not animatable. Oh, also as a part of this image, I should note that I've already cut away part of the white background using the wand selection tool. I had selected all the white background that was a part of the original image. Uh, also, I put a gray background so we can tell the edges of Mickey a little more cleanly and easily than we would otherwise. Now, uh, the process here in Fireworks is a little bit different. Uh, what you'll do is use the lasso tool to select any parts that you think you'll need to animate independently. Uh, let's see, from there, let's see, you're going to copy your selection, paste your selection. Now, it's going to look like nothing happened for a second, but don't panic. What's happened is it's simply its own piece now. Now, here's the trick. Here's what more or less separates the firework method from the flash method, besides being one bitmap, one vector, is that all this, this step, all you do is erase the parts you're not going to need. This is a little bit easier, and depending on the complexity of your graphic, this may be a better option. Of course, this is going to require you to do the same thing about approximating backgrounds, uh, meaning that you'll still have to draw in a tail if you do plan to have the foot and the tail animated separately. Uh, you'll have to draw in a little bit of torso under this. I'll show you how to do that. Uh, again, uh, you're going to use a lasso selection tool to take just what you need, copy your selection, paste your selection. You might want to move it out of the way so you don't catch any of your original image in there. And now you erase what you're not going to need. You know, in this one's case, I don't think we're going to have to erase a great deal from the... and obviously you'll take the time to clean it up a little bit better than I have. Take away everything you're not going to use. Oops. And as far as this, the stomach goes, uh, what, what's gonna, what you can do here is you can either leave this here, or you can actually add a bit more. Uh, in this one's case, since it's not completely a flat black, uh, let's see, you can simply paint in a little bit more. Oh, okay, that's okay. so I have to use a black brush. And you can simply paint in another edge here, so that when you begin to animate it, uh, it won't show that sort of um, gap between it that sort of reveals how you did it. Now you're going to repeat the process, uh, probably in a lot better, um, well, a lot more slowly and a lot more polished than what I've done, uh, over and over again, until you end up with uh, roughly these. These are all the individual parts. Now obviously these are not, uh, they don't have the backgrounds added, uh, the approximations behind, but these are all animatable pieces which can be imported directly into Flash and animated just as they are. Now what that'll look like altogether, it does produce a little bit different result as far as what the animation looks like. Let's see. There we go. Now I do apologize, I uh, made this one in the corner so it's a little bit hard to see what I did. But you'll notice that the animation looks exactly the same. I mean, I, I should say rather very similar to the other one, but you notice that it is definitely a graphic. Uh, you may have also noticed that I did approximate a hand because I realized that Mickey should be showing a hand at this point. Uh, there's also a lot of little things that could use a lot of polish, but this is the general process for how you do an animation separation.